My name's Marie. My name is Victoria. I'm Jen. My name is Pete. My name is Rebecca Costello. My name's Andrea. My name's Natalie and I became a CNS when I was 38. And my name is Adam and I became a CNS when I was 29. 35. 33. 33. 32. It's never really a nine to five structured day. It's very unpredictable. There's lots of reactive work, nurse-led clinics, oncology clinics. You're sorting out transfusions, you're sorting out treatment, you're prescribing treatment. Emotional support of symptom control. It's a whole holistic package of being able to support that patient. I didn't know I wanted to become a CNA. Honestly, I didn't ever think about working in cancer at all. Just kind of worked alongside people that um, kind of inspired me a little bit. You can be a real big impact on a patient's life. That continuity and that relationship that, that we have with the patients and the relatives, carers, is it's really honouring. I feel extremely proud to be in this role um, and to be part of our team. Being a CNS does mean everything to me. Being a CNS means everything to me. I feel like I'm in a privileged position. You feel that you're in a real valuable, privileged position. Being in a very privileged position. Go for it, absolutely. Go for it and give it a try. I would say go for it. I'd say definitely give it a go. It's something I never thought I would do. There's loads of opportunity for development to become that real expert within your field. Um, it's not all doom and gloom. We have some really nice, happy times with our patients. We can't always cure everybody, um, but we can make sure that we're there um, from the beginning to the end, whatever that end may be.